Aloha out there, beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. How are you today? I'm Mikkel Anna. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to get on here today in 2022 and uh, talk a little bit about the incredible movement that's been happening and maybe some of the processes that are going on if you are peeling away the layers right now. One thing I wanted to share is just framing how do we see this whole thing that's happening? What are we in and what is it? How do we play this game? And that's how I'd like to kind of frame it is as a game. So if you imagine yourself to be uh, your an explorer and you're looking for things, you're finding your pieces, you're finding your power, you're, and then you're on these tests where you have to meet challenges and then you level up and then you do it all again with something different. So each time you're working on something, you're actually like, let's say, I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy or you know, my father thing or oh, every time I lose it with that one person, you're owning your power. You're reclaiming your pearls, and as you do, you're picking up your power. And as you pick up your power and bring it back to you and reclaim your own beingness, then you're tested. Did you really do it? Did you really pick up your power? Are you really done, right? So it begins your little test points. And so you can think of it as spiraling like this up, right? We're spiraling up the ladder and we have these like, you get your pieces, get your pieces and it's test, 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 and then click, got it, level up. And then get your pieces, get your pieces, get your pieces, test, 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 click, level up. Get your pieces, get your pieces, get your pieces, test, 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 click, level up. You get the idea. So that if you think of it in those terms and you pull out the emotional aspects and you realize it's really not an emotional game the emotions are really what's being used to keep you in the game so as we control our emotions as we follow our emotions and allow them to lead us to where they're really coming from to where our piece of power our pearl is and we go get it then we don't have to allow that emotion to overtake our vessel and create a program or run a program that then runs our mind and then keeps us engaging in the same pattern over and over and over, right? How do we, how do we get rid of those patterns? Okay, right? How do, when we've gotten back our power, think of if you've learned to do anything, right? You've learned to ride your bike. You've learned to brush your teeth. They become things that just become ingrained. Um, walking, you don't think about that anymore. You used to, you actually learned to do that at one point, right? So, but you don't think about it anymore. It becomes something that's in your body because you've created muscle memory. You've done it again and again and again. So repetition is the mother of all learning. And this is just like a giant computer vessel, like a giant quantum system that you can input information and reprogram to what you want it to be doing, right? So instead of that program of I'm not worthy, running and starting that, who are you talking to me? That reaction or whatever. And you will notice that often your programs have phrases that you say and they always come up. They'll say again and again. You'll notice when I'm in that program, I say that thing. If you pay attention to it it's a kind of a hint that the program is running that's not really me that's the program so we can dismantle that by getting the power and then we stock that mind and we see oh that's not the, that's not me and we make a choice point right there within 30 seconds you choose to set it differently instead of going huh, you know, so-and-so having a reaction. I have 30 seconds to make a different choice. Right when I feel something coming at me, right? Right when the instance is coming forward, I can choose. So in that moment, it comes at me. I have 30 seconds, so I can take a breath. That gives me some time and I can make a different choice. And right there, I make another choice before that 30 seconds set in and I now change the pattern. So now I've just made another choice. I love myself, I'm good enough, I'm worthy, whatever that is, 
whatever choice, whatever you need to give yourself in the moment. And then you're able to just respond to the situation at hand versus react to the situation at hand. So we use that breath to do that. And in doing so, we then allow ourselves to not engage in that program. We release it and we let go of that. And those that we have, we hold that energy and we hold that energy. Then we get tested on those greater energies and then boom, I'm worthy. I don't feel I'm not worthy anymore. Leveled up, right? I own that energy. No longer dealing with I'm not worthy because I've given, I've moved through the pieces. I've allowed myself the belief that I can also do that. The belief that it doesn't have to take a lifetime the belief that I can actually heal now, right? So that brings up kind of an interesting point is how many things are we holding on to, right? It's all ourselves. It's just the game is with myself. So what am I still holding on to? Am I holding on to that bad shoulder, that, you know, that injury when I was 10? Am I still telling the story? If I'm still telling that story to myself, to others, to my body, then that story is gonna keep perpetuating, right? So in order for us to move out of something, we have to believe that we can. We have to believe that we don't have to continue engaging in this kind of pain or this kind of sorrow or this kind of bodily disruption, that we can change it. So first we open our minds to the perception and the perspective that we can change it that we are infinite divine creators and have the capacity to change our reality by reprogramming our body vessel, by taking ownership of ourselves and really resonating and connecting with source and earth energy, which I talk a lot about, but you can check out videos on that. And, and we can really resonate into our highest and best self. And that knowing this truly can just come back to that I am that I am. Whenever you're feeling anything else, I am that I am. Or they say in the Bantu language of the original Bible, so nini nanini, so nini nanini, so nini nanini, I am that I am. So when we resonate into that, whew, a lot of other things disappear. We get to like, huh, that's nothing else can exist within that and the knowingness that I am that I am and that is all that there is. So there is only one thing and if there is only one I am that I am, then all of us are facets of that beautiful whole, that diamond that is all that is. And I'm a facet and you're a facet and we all get to reflect with one another, right? And that brings in the using the mirrors, using those reflections, which we talk about, using the reflection of the other beings around you to see what's still alive or what's still going on for me inside myself. If I feel a discomfort because of something that comes up within myself while I'm engaging with another person, then I know, oh wow, there's still a wound there. There's still something I need to look at. There's still something I haven't seen there because I'm not feeling, I'm feeling discomfort, right? And whenever we're not feeling good, we get to take responsibility and ownership that either I'm, I'm running someone else's energy, I pick something up, something's not mine, or I'm engaging in some sort of past program. I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm a victim, um, you know, I'm unloved, I'm unseen, I'm unvalued, I'm unheard. All of these are real a myriad of common programs that we all run via trauma input and whether we've had big trauma or seemingly seemingly small trauma it's all trauma and so we want to honor that we've all been through traumatic things being born into the world itself is traumatic coming through the birth canal coming here and being born into life right so even that so we all have our traumas that aren't set in on purpose, right? You know, um, oftentimes, sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. It's just that we don't have to judge it. We can allow whatever is alive for us to be honored and have compassion for ourselves that it's been hard 
to be here in density. And so with compassion for our own selves, we allow the space to heal and we allow the space to forgive ourselves and others. And so right now, in this time that we're in, um, we really are given that deep opportunity to do that as, as this last cycle, December, the last December 21st, 2021 solstice energies that came in and set in this new energy and availability to the divine feminine, divine masculine, or you could say um, divine love and light, and then the infusion of grace, right? And we can think of that as a cosmic trinity, um, divine love, light, and grace. And I have another dear friend, uh, earth worker, who sees that too in that capacity and, and claims it in that way, love, light, and grace. And as we think of the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together into balance and moving into this place of grace where we're able to deliver and embody both in a really natural way. So we're all being offered the opportunity to work on this, to bring ourselves into more compassion, into more grace, into more love and kindness and unity, right? And it's not easy because it means coming into grace with ourselves, right? So we get to be gentle with the self not judge the self when you don't do it right the release expectation and you allow space to learn when you do your reflection each day um, as i've shared before a practice that i've used for many years is in the morning i do my practices of grounding connection your tools your energy tools which is the daily jam you can find on the channel and then you also kind of, you're setting your day with your intention of what I'm showing up for today, what I intend for, what I, how I wanna move through my day, how do I wanna embody myself through my day. At the end of the day, you get to review that. So you can go outside, for me, going outside and laying under the stars and just reviewing the myriad of the day and saying, what did I do today? What and, and things as small as, you know, I was really short with the woman at the post office today. Gosh, that was, that was really, I was feeling, I was not feeling, I, I was feeling unseen or I was, whatever was happening for me, right? So I'll call out what was going on, speak to that to myself, kind of heal the little girl within me that was having a tantrum, so to speak, and then energetically, heal with the person, like ask forgiveness to the lady at the post office, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that, I give thanks, I, I hope, to, you know, I ask to do a better job tomorrow and to implement better behavior and I love myself, right? So giving yourself what you need and then making a declaration and an intention of how I wanna show up tomorrow, what I'm gonna be doing to change that, right? So. Another phrase that's come up this week is uh, when you do the same thing again and again and again and expect different results, that's the definition of insanity, right? So, gosh, we have to do something different if we want to see something different show up. So, yes, love, light, and grace. So now is the time for us to surrender. Surrender all our stories surrender whatever is not serving breathe into your truth breathe into loving the self and activating your divine light being which is what you really are it's what we all really are that we are all amazing divine light beings in this spaceship right that we get to learn how to actually navigate by owning it right so that means I am in control of this vessel and nothing has power over me, period. I am connected to source energy, the God of my heart, I'm connected to the earth and nothing else. We own our vessels. So 
Taking ownership here and now in each and every day, utilizing tools on a daily basis, setting intentions, doing reflection, use the mirrors. Um, these are just some tools I'd like to impart and remind you of as we move into 2022, or as we start to wrap up the first month of 2022. And um, yes, just encourage everyone out there to stay steadfast in your knowing, to continue asking for guidance. You are never alone and you are always alone. It is a solo mission. It's a beautiful a hologram of fun if we choose it to be so. So if we change our perspective, and we open our minds to see it differently. We get to engage with it in a different way. And so I hope that's helpful as we move into almost February of 2022. The other thing we can do to help support us is we can give this body vessel what it needs because it's hard to unlock the spaceship if it's clogged, right? So if we are putting in clogging things that are creating inflammation in the body, then we're not going to experience the activation of its full capacity. Just like our car, if we don't get oil changes and we don't change the washer fluid and we don't you know, flush it out and give it really good gas, we're not gonna be able to have that machine operate at its optimum capacity. Right? So you are in like your own beautiful Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, Tesla, whatever you want to think of. And this is your spaceship. So what does it need to work at its optimum capacity? So a couple of things I'm going to share are just quick notes that I think are very important of things to just get rid of now. And if you want to learn about a nutrition program that I think is the way to go, super supportive, easy to incorporate, then please reach out, drop a comment on the video. I'm happy to support you. I will tell you more in depth. But right here and right now, I wanna say this, that first thing, if fluoride. That's gotta go on all levels, either through the drinking water or through toothpaste, you don't need it. And I will say right now a disclaimer, if you disagree with anything I'm saying, um, that's totally fine and you're welcome to navigate however you like. I'm just giving you what I have experienced to be true for me. So I truly love Uncle Harry's toothpaste. It's an essential oil toothpaste that comes in a glass jar and so it's recyclable, it's glass, and the toothpaste it's essential oils which are antiviral, antibacterial, so they're killing all of the bacteria and viruses in your mouth and my teeth have actually never been whiter. I mean, what do you think? So that's the one thing. Second would be glyphosate. This is huge. If you're unfamiliar with glyphosate, glyphosate is what's in Roundup. And Roundup is what's been sprayed on our food here in the United States, at least, for the last 35 years. So um, it's kind of spread through our crops, even if you're not engaging in it directly. Um, but all food, corn, wheat, soy, has been sprayed um, in, in the United States. And so if you're not eating organic in those departments, you're certainly eating glyphosate. But every time we go out to eat, you know, or you just grab something, or even just through the air, we're being exposed. So glyphosate, the unfortunate thing here is glyphosate cannot be cooked out of your food, nor can it be washed off. So, this is important because what glyphosate was designed to do is kill a plant from the inside out. So it actually destroys the microbiome of the gut and kills the plant from the inside out, making it um, susceptible to disease and all sorts of other things. Well, that's what it's doing to our bodies. <laughs> so that means it's depleting our microbiome and it's actually, which is your second brain, your gut is your second brain, it navigates your immune system. So that's really important, right? So we don't want to have our microbiome breaking down and creating holes and ways for immune deficiencies. So 
that's it, it's crazy so glyphosate is doing that. that's why we're seeing like gluten-free this gluten-free that people wheat intolerant I don't believe they're intolerant to the wheat I believe they're intolerant to the glyphosate or the or the corn or the soy right but so any at any rate getting the glyphosate out of your body is crucial and you will feel it you will you will you will I felt it so I do have a product that will remove the glyphosate from your body it's part of that nutrition program I was just telling you about superfood company that I have partnered with since 2019 I love it it has changed my reality it's helped change a lot of people and clients reality and if you're interested in learning more I would love to share with you I will drop a link in the biography of just the, the company and um, a gift code you could put in if you just want to go ahead and check it out and shop today um, throw in that gift code and that will uh, become make you become my customer but I'm also happy to do one-on-one -on -one. if you want consultation and you'd like to actually learn more and you want to get something more tailored to your needs I am very happy to consult with you so please reach out if you'd like to do that and in any rate however you choose to move in your health path I feel it's of utmost importance to remove these things from the body so that you begin to remove blockages and allow free flow through the vessels we need our cells alive we want our blood cells we want our white blood cells and our red blood cells functioning properly we want we want activation in our brain. It's powerful what these chemicals and toxins are doing on a daily basis. Um, sodas are a definite no. The high fructose corn syrup. Um, actually, I've used Coca-Cola to clean my drains before. When I lived in Mexico, I would pour a Coca-Cola down my drain and it would clean it gets away all the acids like acid removes acid so it's great for that it's good for your batteries too it'll clean your battery coils so that's what coca-cola is good for um but yeah so taking out these kind of things out of our diet i mean drink water drink lemon water um ginger in our water having hot tea each day with some ginger or turmeric um, is great and that's also going to give you protection from antiviral and bacterial and you know we, when you do the hot water it helps to just soothe the throat and kill anything within the throat too right so these are kind of some simple things that can just like start today and so in general we want to eat a diet that I feel is full of protein and greens and then you know you have fruit alone and then you're doing lots of water exercise meditation stocking the mind and then really we're living in our highest and best self feeling in a neutral place feeling good enjoying this body vessel enjoying being here in the earth plane loving connecting with family friends with ourselves that's that's the goal yes and being able to navigate this vessel so you can choose wherever you want to go from here and that can be pretty big galactic so the choice is our own to make in each and every moment do we want to embrace expand move forward enliven or do we want to contract regress pull away the choice is there in each and every moment and I pray that this has given you some tools to work with in the next little bit and uh, please enjoy the meditations um, use the tools on this channel please like and subscribe share with a friend and I'm grateful to be of service thank you for joining me thank you for taking the time to do your own beautiful self work we are together Montanata, aloha mahalo thank you